So, riding around in a 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Uh, this is actually the Rubicon trim level of the Gladiator. It's actually the highest trim level that you can get for one. A little bit of a difference between the Rubicon and everything else. It's the highest trim level for off-roading capability. Uh, all of them are trail rated, but the Rubicon is more geared specifically for off-roading. Um, you're going to have a disconnecting sway bar, axle locks. The suspension is actually updated on the Gladiator to actually put Fox suspension onto these uh, Rubicons. So it's a little bit of a difference between the JL and the Gladiator. Just as capable as the Wrangler is. Um, a lot of more fun for me, honestly. I prefer driving these because the wheelbase is a little bit longer. So you have a little bit more stability. Not that the Wrangler is not stable, but you can definitely tell the difference between driving the two. Um, big thing for Rubicons is the interior. You can definitely see tiny little markers that make it stand out. They have a color pattern of red accents inside, red stitching, red dash. That's the telltale marker that you're driving a Rubicon. However, certain colors on the exterior change that dash uh, setup. So um, this one has the 8.4 inch touchscreen, Sirius XM radio for a whole year when you purchase a Chrysler product, uh, FCA product, excuse me. Um, there's navigation for this one, which is nice, already built in. And you can actually pop it up on the fly, see where you're going. Um, or you can do a full screen if you need to. A whole bunch of different features that are set built into it and in a real time map. As you can see, it's running as we're going. Uh, this one has heated seat, heated steering wheel, remote start. Uh, oh, also with the radio, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is uh, gonna be a standard feature on any 4C radio um, with our Uconnect system. Um, getting a little hot in here, so I'll turn the temperature down a little bit but take this out on the road rubicons have a little bit more of a stiffer ride just because the suspension is ready to absorb more impact um, gladiator overall drives very very well mid-size segment is what this truck falls into so it's a little bit smaller than a ram um, it's derived from the ram chassis and has the jeep built on top of it so they say it's 100 percent jeep 100 percent truck a lot of people thought it was just a Jeep Wrangler with the bed. It's absolutely not. Um, you're gonna compare that to the Nissan Frontier, the Chevy Colorado, uh, Ford Ranger, um, are all gonna fall into that same mid-size truck category. This is the only one that's capable at the level that it is. Uh, it's also the only one that can be an open air truck. The roof comes off. Uh, the doors will come off and even the windshield falls down just like you have on a Wrangler. And we're the only truck in its class that could do that. Uh, as far as capability goes, it has a max towing capability of 7,600 pounds. So no other truck can touch that in the segment. Uh, the one that comes close is a Chevy Colorado, but you have to spend thousands of dollars to get the diesel motor in that version in order to even come close and it still doesn't tow as much as our max towing does with the Gladiator. Uh, payload is, I think, about 1,600 pounds. And it's actually a lot for a truck of this size. So people are pretty excited about its capability. Um, Four-wheel drive is very easy. Same four-wheel drive system. It's a part-time system. Uh, actually, you can shift on the fly into four-wheel high up to 55 miles per hour. And yeah, I mean, it's pretty much not much else to really go over on the truck itself. So, 